In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix neck and shoulder pain for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to get rid of neck and shoulder pain by fixing tightness and weakness in two main muscles that tend to cause it. That's the upper trapezius and the levator scapula. To make this easy, I'm going to break the video up into two separate parts. In the first part, we're going to focus on muscle tightness with a great combination stretching and self-massage technique. In the second part, we're going to strengthen everything to hopefully get long-lasting results. Your your main focus should be on that second part, but go through both parts and use what gives you the most amount of relief. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home. They require no special equipment and may give quick neck and shoulder pain relief even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started and get some pain relief right now. In this part, we're going to focus on getting quick neck and shoulder pain relief by doing a combination of stretching and self-massage. These ones can be done standing or seated, just have very good upright posture. So let's start by tackling muscle knots, trigger points, spasms, just overall dull, achy, pain in the upper trapezius muscle, which runs from the top of the shoulder into the neck. There's two different variations of this stretch, so go through both of them, use what works best for you and gives you the most amount of relief. So I'm going to have very good upright posture. The first movement, whatever side that you're having pain, let's say it's my right side, I'm going to shrug that side shoulder up towards the ear as much as I can. From there, I'm going to take the ear on the other side, so in this case, it's my left ear towards my left shoulder. I'm going to take my hand, hook off to the side of the head to passively pull that over just a little bit more. In this position, you should feel a good stretch from your neck running down to your shoulder. From there, we're going to intensify this by then reaching downward with our hand, so shrugging the shoulder downwards this time, kind of like trying to pick something up off the floor. This feels really, really good. Hold this comfortably for about 15 to 20 seconds. From there, you can relax, take a breather. On the next repetition, try to stretch into it just a little bit more and repeat that one three to five times. If you feel like that muscle tightness is not releasing, you can take this one to the next level by incorporating a self-massage. So I'm going to be using an ordinary racquetball. You can also use a lacrosse ball, a handball, a tennis ball. If you don't have any of those, just use your thumbs. But what I'm going to do is get back into that stretch just like this, but this time around, I'm going to take the tennis ball or whatever you're using, cup it, and then start to target those muscle knots or any point that just feels like it's most tight and achy and painful. You want to just press in there for about 10 seconds. Just do nice circular motions. And with this one, only go over muscle. Don't go over any bony spot because that can cause irritation. But I just do that for about 10 seconds relax, and then repeat three to five times or until it releases. And from there, you can just switch over different spots as needed. Instead of doing circular motions too, you can attack it at different angles. So go up and down with it, side to side, go like across, whatever works best for you. And I do recommend that when you're done on one side to switch to the other to keep them both in balance. The next variation is very similar. So let's say again, I have right-sided pain. What I'm going to do is take that side's arm, bend my elbow roughly at 90 degrees, and then slide my arm and hand across the lower back until I feel a gentle activation of that upper trapezius muscle right up here. Once I feel that, the movement is pretty much the same. I'm going to take my hand, put it on the side of the head, hook it, and then take my ear towards the other side shoulder. This one feels really good. 15 to 20 second hold, you can relax and then repeat this one three to five times and just make sure to do it on both sides. You can take that one to the next level also by getting back into that stretch right there and then taking your ball and then just attacking that muscle tightness as needed. So the next one is going to target the levator scapula, which runs pretty much right on the back of the neck right through here. This is called the armpit sniffer, and you're going to see here in a second why it's called that. So have very good upright posture. Whatever side that you're having pain, again, let's say it's my right side, I'm going to look over the other side shoulder as much as I can. So I'm turning my head to look over my left shoulder until I start to feel a gentle activation of the muscles, pretty much running from the top, the base of the skull here, down towards the base of the neck into the shoulder. From there, I'm going to take my chin downward towards my armpit. This will intensify that stretch. We want to take our hand, hook the back of the head, and then passively pull our chin 
downward towards our armpit as much as we can. This feels really good. I really feel it right over that muscle right there. Again, I can hold this one for about 15 to 20 seconds. From there, you can relax and then build into it for three to five repetitions. With each repetition, try to stretch into it just a little bit more. To take that one to the next level, we can use our ball. So get back into that position, and this time around, just go over the back of the neck right here, attacking any tight, achy spots as needed. And when you're done on one side, just switch to the other to keep them both in balance. So in this part, we're going to focus on getting long lasting neck and shoulder pain relief by strengthening everything. If you not only want to get pain relief, but also to prevent it, you have to strengthen everything in and around the shoulders. This first exercise, you can do that without using any equipment and you can do it at home. It's pretty easy. It's known as the shrugging lift off. What I'm going to do is go next to a smooth wall or a door. Just have very good upright posture. The first movement, I'm going to take my arms, put them straight upwards, kind of like reaching towards the sky. I want to just put my hands right on the wall right here, and I also have my body supported on the wall too. The focused movement is shrugging upwards through your upper back, through your shoulders, and reaching upwards as much as you can. You should feel a lot of muscles in the neck, and the shoulders start to fire. Hold this one comfortably for about five seconds. From there, you can relax, and then you want to repeat this one 10 to 15 times. If you have a little bit more energy, you can throw in another set or two. To make this one more challenging, you can use something like a dumbbell right here and then resist against it by pushing up like this and going against the weight. So if you do have some dumbbells, give that one a try. But to make this one a little bit harder without equipment, what you can do is get back into that original shrug, but then lift your hands and arms away from the wall. You'll feel a lot of fire. This one will really hit the chest and it will also hit the shoulders. It's almost kind of like the shoulder blades in the back are pinching together. Five second hold and you can repeat that one 10 to 15 times for a couple sets. The next variation, instead of going straight up with it, I like to go off towards a Y like this. So it hits the muscles just a little bit differently. This time around, I'm going to have my thumbs pointing away from the wall. So only the thin part of the hand right here is touching it. Shrug upwards as much as you can and then repeat this process. So I can hold that one for about five seconds right here. If it's a little bit too easy, I can then do that lift off and attack those muscles just a little bit differently. But you want to do that one for five second holds for about 10 to 15 reps. And if need be, you can throw in another set or two to make it more challenging. Here's a great daily strengthening exercise that you can do right in bed. It's known as shoulder cars or controlled articular rotations. I'm going to start off on my stomach and slide forward until my shoulders and head are off the edge of a bed. That way we have to fight gravity to challenge the muscles. What I'm gonna do is a simple head retraction during this exercise. That's just taking the chin, driving the back of the head upward towards the ceiling until we feel a gentle activation of the muscles in the neck. All of these positions that I'm going to go over, I'm going to hold for five seconds, but to make them more challenging, you can hold them for longer, 10, 15 seconds. The first position, what I'm going to do is take my hands, overlap them, put them in the small of the lower back. Gently press down into your lower back with your hands and then wing your elbows up towards the ceiling. You should feel a good activation of the muscles in between the shoulder blades, going into the upper back, into the neck. Hold this position again for five seconds. The next position, what I'm going to do is straighten my arms slightly off to the side of my body. Palms are going to be up towards the ceiling. We're going to lift the palms up towards the ceiling as much as we can. You'll notice that it hits the muscles just a little bit differently. The next position, I'm going to keep my arms straight and take them directly off to my side. I'm also going to turn my hands like this so my thumbs are pointing upward towards the ceiling, kind of like a hitchhiker sign. Lift them up as much as you can. From there, I'm going to go straight in front of me and create a Y position with my arms and then lift up. And then I'm going to go straight right in front of me. With this one, you really want to reach out in front of you as much as you can. You should feel the upper trapezius muscle right up here start to fire. 
What I'm gonna do from there is then lift upward towards the ceiling. The last position, I'm gonna take my hands right here, put them on the back of the head, drive my head up towards the ceiling as much as I can, and then wing my elbows up. In this position, I feel a ton firing. My chest muscles, my upper back, my trapezius, all the way up into the neck. It feels really, really good. And then you're just going to simply go in reverse and repeat this. You're also going to notice while doing this exercise that one certain spot, like let's say it's right here for me, just feels like it's weak or it's just really addressing a lot of muscle tightness. Make note of that and throw more repetitions in at that point. Always focus on the positions and the spots that need it the most. But I try to do that whole complete cycle for about three complete repetitions. And if you feel like you have a little bit more energy, you can throw in more repetitions. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.